Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Metamystic Tarot. It's the Metamystic here. Let's get right to your reading. Now we have the star at the bottom of the deck here. So let's get into it. Let's see what's going on. Also, I have my windows open and there's people like outside yelling and stuff. So just roll with it. Maybe you're just rolling with something Sagittarius. We'll see. Let's see what's going on. For Sagittarius. It's a beautiful day though. Four of Pentacles. Hmm. You're holding on to something through the dark with the moon here. And through the hard times, you're holding on. So what is this here for Sagittarius? We have the Two of Pentacles here, and the Three of Swords, and Judgment. You're holding on to something, you're balancing something through a hard situation with the Three of Swords. We had the Moon as well. Tell me more about this for Sagittarius. I thought something turned over too, I guess not. I feel like you're saying, I thought that this was this, but it wasn't. <laughs> Whatever that means. Yeah, you're you're looking at things now. You're like, you're holding on. You were balancing things. You're looking at everything. And I think you're kind of deciding to maybe cut something out. Why do I say that? Because we have the fool at the bottom of the deck. And because she's turned away from this observation it's kind of like i love how chris Reck from minnow pond tarot says that the seven of pentacles is like is the juice worth the squeeze i love how he says that it's i think you're kind of deciding hey maybe it's not again why am i saying that because we have the fool at the bottom of the deck which is a new beginning or a new start and look we have the strength card and the chariot and now we have the Ace of Wands starting over somewhere else or with something else or someone else. Let's look more into this for Sagittarius here. Because, yeah, when the Queen of Swords sees something clearly, she's like, all right, I'm going to move in a new direction here. You may even be manifesting this new beginning for yourself. Maybe you felt like, I just, I just can't hold on to this feeling anymore, this juggling, this, this obsessive thinking about something i i need to just cut this out of my life it's just it's just not working out yeah you're you're looking to manifest something that's deep with the queen of uh cups here like yeah whatever this is something that your heart belongs to something that you feel like really speaks to you on a deep level and doesn't leave you wondering, doesn't leave you balancing everything, doesn't leave you overthinking with the seven of pentacles. This could be anything. This could be a relationship, a job, anything. A situation. Yep. The tower fell right on top of the queen of swords. So the way I'm seeing it is it's like, the universe is kind of like, you cut it out or I will with the tower. So whether you make the conscious decision to cut out whatever this is or not, either way, it's going to get cut out with the tower coming in. Tell me more about this tower, please. For Sagittarius. I actually always look at the tower as a good thing. It's kind of like just usually when the tower is here, something needs to change. It's for our benefit. It's not It's not for our harm. The universe is not bringing in a tower to hurt us or to make our life worse. It's actually the exact opposite. Yeah, look. And it fell right on top of the two of pentacles. The thing that was making you feel like you had to balance so much and you always had to be dealing with this over here and dealing with this over there it's like you're just deciding to walk away from that now with the eight of cups you're like that's it <laughs> and sometimes that's all a tower is you're just kind of like it could even it can be a quiet tower 
the quiet tower i might i might name this reading the quiet tower because it's like yeah it you know it's a tower but it might kind of just be it might look like you just disconnecting emotionally and just walking away from whatever this is yeah the high priestess you know what you have to do sagittarius you know what you have to do here yeah you're you're planning here you're you're counting on with the two of uh wands here you're counting on this justice you you know that this is what you have to do and look what's coming in next something that really fulfills you with the nine of cups and a new opportunity as well so it's not like you're just walking away from something into the abyss of nothingness it's like the ace of pentacles is right around the bend here and so I think you're going to be thanking the universe for this tower. And it's not even going to be something dramatic. It's just going to be kind of like, eh, I'm out of here. Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> look, look look, where this guy's walking. He's walking right toward the Ten of Pentacles, Sagittarius. You're going to thank God for the tower is what I'm hearing. You're going to be like, wow, I'm so glad this happened. You led me right toward my destiny <laughs> is what Sagittarius is saying here. Yep. Right toward your destiny. Wheel of fortune. There it is, baby. The card's confirming the message. Right before our eyes. I feel like that's what it's going to be for you. It's like, it's it's just, it's going to be so obvious. Like, it, people are just going to uh, to see it from a mile away that, that you are right in your destiny right where you belong here and it's gonna be just like what whatever you walked away from here whatever you cut out with the queen of swords it, it's just gonna be like in the past it's not even gonna affect you anymore sagittarius more on this yep you're releasing your burdens with the ten of wands and you're going right into your victory with the six of wands here yeah, see, and, and the, the uh, Ten of Wands is right under this, uh, this juggling again, where you were just having to, it's like you were dealing with so many other people's stuff, is what I'm seeing this as. You're de the, all these burdens, they weren't even yours. They weren't even yours, Sagittarius. And right beneath the Seven of Pentacles, to quote Chris Reck again, is the, is the juice worth the squeeze? And you kind of were like, nah. It's not. It's not even worth it. They don't even care that I'm doing all this. They don't even notice. You could be moving toward your destiny, but it's like you were trapped back here. You were stuck. This was the first card out, the Four of Pentacles. You were stuck, or seemingly stuck. You started to evaluate, hey, is this all worth it, what I'm even doing here? And you decided no, okay? And like I said, even if you don't cut it out, either way, it's almost like you are manifesting this tower because we had the magician. It's like, even if you feel like you can't do this yourself, quote unquote, the tower is going to come either. It's, I'm also seeing this another way. It's like, she's ordering the tower to come. She's like, bring the tower with her sword, bring the tower. But there's something about this I feel that's very quiet. It's not like super dramatic. Like it's it's almost undetectable, Sagittarius. It's not that you're being sneaky. There's just something about this where you just quietly walk away, okay? And you walk towards your long-term stable life that you've been looking for here. You're letting go of your burdens. You're following the path the universe has set up for you. You're becoming successful here with the Six of Wands. It's like everything's starting to fall into place here, Sagittarius. Look, the world at the bottom of the deck. <sighs> yeah. See, this is just, it's like the end of something. You, you went within about this with the Hermit and, and you gained enlightenment with the Hanged Man. You're like, what do I really want? I want the Ten of Cups. So you started to end stuff that wasn't Ten of Cups. If it doesn't feel Ten of Cups, I don't want it, is what Sagittarius is saying. With the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, I mean, you know what you want and you're going toward it, Sagittarius. You're going toward your success, your happiness, your joy, your stability, good community. Like, just 
the real stuff the real stuff not not all this fake stuff right yeah it's like the ten with the ten of cups right beneath the queen of swords she's like i'm gonna cut out anything that's not ten of cups sorry but it's it's again it's, it's quiet it's like you're just deciding with your own self and then you're moving on and the sad thing is, is that these people probably won't even notice that you moved on because they didn't even notice you were, you were juggling all their freaking burdens. And I think that that's just going to be another wake up call for you where you're like, I walked away and they didn't even notice. <laughs> all right, fine. I'm going to go celebrate with my friends. I, I'm going to go, go out and have a good time with a whole new group of people here. People that actually love me, actually support me with the 10 of cups. Yeah. Good for you, Sagittarius. King of Swords as well. Wow. King of Swords beneath the tower. Yeah, you're masculine and feminine energy. This could also be a divine counterpart coming in for you with the King of Swords and Queen of Swords. Or it could be kind of like an intellectual connection between you and a friend even here that's helping you walk through this tower and is like supporting you in your decision. You may even be coming up with kind of a strategy here with the King of Swords where you're like, okay, I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do this and I'm going to move on the 17th and, and I'm going to sell my car and I'm going to buy a new one and I'm going to transfer this and I'm going to change my netflix password so people can't keep using it you know it's like it's stuff like that right and there's that magician again it's like you're manifesting all of this so don't be afraid when you know it, 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 you maybe you'll get cold feet when you get closer to actually making these decisions it, it's looking like you're not going to because at the end of the day you know it's the truth here with the ace of swords R regardless you know the truth now you know that you know it's it's not really worth it you've thought about it from every which way the king of swords is su super strategic like the king and queen of swords, they look at everything. They look at every option. You know, they try to be just and fair about what they're doing. So you're not being rash at all. You're really thinking things through logically. And it's like, and still, it's still not worth it. So it's just time to go is what I'm hearing. It's time to go is what Sagittarius is saying. So it's like anything that, that, that isn't emotionally fulfilling with the queen of cups here, it's like, you don't want it. You're manifesting things that really matter to you. And look, here's the star that we started off with. This is what you want. Like you want to have hope in your life. You, you want your dreams to come true. You want the, the dreams of other people to come true. This is the kind of person you are, but you've been so caught up with all of this other stuff with these burdens that everybody has placed on you here and I don't blame them I mean if you're this type of person I could see how you could you know I could see how people could try to take advantage of that because this is beautiful energy here and uh there there may also need to be some healing because with the star and the eight of cups where you kind of felt really disappointed where you're like, wow, I really have to like walk away. That's that's how disappointing the situation was. Sometimes that's just how how things shake out, Sagittarius. And I am sorry for that. But that's just kind of how things work sometimes when, you know, when it comes to these sorts of things where you just try and try and try and it just things aren't changing and you can't make people change. Closing message for Sagittarius. Yeah. See, it's just more of the same. And and that's why your eyes are closed to it with the two of swords. You're like, I just can't take this five of swords anymore. And it's just going to keep coming up. You're going to... I'm seeing it as, like, as you're taking your rest and you're healing, because the star can also be healing too, and now we have the four of swords. As you're kind of taking a breather after these towers are coming down, you're, you're just going to keep seeing the evidence here. It's like you're taking off the blindfold and looking at things for what they are. It was a bunch of five of swords mess here. And you're like, you know what? 
the further I get away from all of this, the more I know for sure that I made the right decision. You're go it's going to be proven to you. And, and now that you're in this star energy, this is just very obvious. You're like, you're like, you know what? And it's right under the Ten of Pentacles too. It's like you're seeing that it doesn't line up with where you're trying to go. And so unfortunately, you're kind of like taking your space here and you're just like, hey, you know, God bless, but I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm on my way toward my Ten of Pentacles here with the Eight of Cups leading into the Ten of Pentacles. I, I'm on my way. All right. So wonderful Sagittarius super proud of you it's not easy to make these decisions but you have looked at this from every angle with the king and queen of swords you know and and anything that doesn't line up to what you're looking for ten of cups ten of pentacles it's looking like you're gonna cut it out and it, you're gonna be successful you're gonna drop your burdens you're following what the universe is laying out before you and the universe will help you in any way possible as well with this tower energy the tower is, is a good thing a lot of the time i think so much love to you sagittarius if you want to come join us over on patreon to get your extended i'm going to go do that reading right now we'd love to have you over there sagittarius it's 11 dollars a month i'm making it accessible to all so if you want to join us you can click the link in the top of the description and until next time sagittarius take care <laughs>